In 1873, James Clerk Maxwell, a British physicist, solved most of these problems. Maxwell developed equations based on the earlier work of Michael Faraday, who had demonstrated the link between electric fields and magnetic fields. The oscillations, or movements back and forth of electric charges, generate electromagnetic waves of energy, which propagate as transverse waves. Maxwell's calculations of the velocity of these waves matched the speed of light and led him to predict that light is an electromagnetic wave. Electric and magnetic fields can exist in a material substance as well as a vacuum, so the waves do not require a medium and can travel through air, water, or the vacuum of space. After this discovery, scientists discarded the ether theory. If transverse waves were visible, they would look something like the waves in this rope or the ripples on the surface of a pond. This animation of an electromagnetic wave shows the electrical and magnetic component of the wave. The two parts of the waves are at right angles to each other. Maxwell believed that electromagnetic waves were only energy. Now we know that they are waves of energy and particles called photons. This is wave-particle duality. All electromagnetic waves travel through space at the speed of light, and the sun is the Earth's greatest source. But electromagnetism is also found in radio, television, electric lights, atoms, and many other objects. Electromagnetic waves are everywhere in our universe.